Hello everyone. Today, we will see what's new in Robot Structural Analysis 2025. If you want to see what's next in Revit and Robot, you can have a look at the public roadmap with the link and the QR code. We will see there is a better integration between Revit and Robot. There is an improvement on the quality of moment prediction along wall and advanced support. There is a new naming uh, with numbering of loads so the interactive message are clear. There is a fire resistant according to Eurocode part 1-2 for general Eurocode and French national annexes. There is new load combination for US regulation, new steel design bar for US regulation, a uh, new seismic analysis for US regulation and a lot of improvement and fixes. So of course you have all this on the robot help from this release and other. So feel free to just look at the QR code or the element. So if I look at the better integration between Revit and robots, now you need to download an extension to have the link. It will be the same as before, but you will have directly the result connect. And in the past, the link was already in, but you need to add an extension for result connect. Now you have both. So in the Revit link announcement, now you have all local coordinate system matching between Revit and robot. When you cut uh, an element and so you will split the load all will be transferred and preserved in bidirectional element for the improvement of quality of moment reduction on result wall and advanced or linear uh, support in fact before explaining what you do i, I will uh, do a small uh, benchmark on what is it because Okay, I will focus after on the new feature, uh, the improvement, but I see a lot of even advanced uh, users don't use it or don't know it. So here on the wall, here you have a linear support. You can define in advance the size of the wall. Okay. Of course, when you already have real wall in shell, it's already defined. So if you want this to, to work properly, you need to have half locally on the support, half of the size of the support, infinite element, okay, half of the cross section. What it do? Well, for global FEM, you will have the full analysis, but after in maps, panel cut, you can activate the reduction forces above wall. So let's move when it wasn't it doesn't exist in robots, so maybe 20 years ago, more. Um, so I do like if this option doesn't exist to have a benchmark. So what I do, I do here a panel and I cut this panel at the edge. Okay, and I recreate two small panels or I could have created one. And after I can display result only for selection. So. I have the bending moment at the edge. So if I do this here, you can see I have 20, 20, okay, with global smoothies. You need to take care in smoothing. Um, well, usually it's the same, but if you are in automatic direction according to local. Uh, coordinate system of the panel, you just have to take care that one is not in a way and the other one in another way. Okay, just this kind of thing. So it's better to be globally on global axis X or Y and look at the result according to this. Okay, so here it's for FEM. Okay, just take care if you look at a rebar reinforcement okay 
this won't affect river diagram you know if you want it to be affected like here uh, here it's not affected i don't check you will have the uh, result at the top if you check and you need to calculate uh, riba with this according to us european regulation after you will have this reduction okay so this exists for a long time in robots so so if i look so my benchmark where i cut and i display on this result i have 2019 with finite element, I think uh, five centimeters, I have 2020. <clears throat> with uh, more, here I, I think I have 20, just to see that, you know, it's uh, above what I said below, so it's cut more, in fact, here. So you need to have a zero one or less. And here, the advanced support where I have 0 0.1 uh, meters or 10 centimeters. So here you see it's, it's work. And the reduction, it was because in 2024, usually we have more, I would say, uh, bigger finite elements than uh, half of the size of the column or wall. And so analysis previously was carried only on the first row of finite element now but if you have a lot and it's really uh, much more thinner um, you need to look at more than the first row and now we look at more than the first row here the, the detail so we have improved uh, the message for load in fact now there is number so you have number in the message and number on the colon in the table and when you right click and select directly it will be a link moreover performance improvement have been made for load visualization so now in robot reinforced concrete column we have the annex C uh, of Eurocode 2 part 1 2 and you have the detail of this analysis in the calculation notes so as you can see a load combination for US and Canada have been uh, updated. Same for steel bar design. We have um, updating according to new regulation. And of course, it will be set by default when you select USA. And it's better to select this way because you will have all uh, required database linked and the user standard update after. We have the seismic analytics for United States, like you can see, and you, we have both in uh, spectrum analysis, response spectrum analysis, and equivalent static force here. And of course, I won't go in detail of all the 108 improvement and fix, but you have it in the release notes. Thank you.